Hey guys, uh, here is a Robbie Krieger, The Doors, widespread version, Rider on the Storm, the whole deal. I will tell you, I did have the pleasure of opening up for Robbie Krieger band probably, man, 13 years ago or something like that. Had a, hung out with him, had his son back at my house jamming. I mean, it was just really cool um, many years ago. And uh, it was a great experience. I love The Doors. Uh, Probably longer than that, I was at a panic show, and I think the uh, widespread closed with it in New Orleans or close to that or whatever. It just sat with me. Love the song. This is an old SG. I thought it would be appropriate. It was my dad's guitar. He's still around, but he gave it to me. Um, but here we go. Here's what we're going to learn. Um, you know, the bass line. some E minor stuff with that lick. That run. Um, and then the... And then the... Uh, some other little licks in there. And then... Uh, another part that kind of emulates the keyboards, a lot of stuff. And then why not even the solo? If you like that, stick around. Here we go. Okay, here we go. The first part of the song is really, I'm just ripping off the bass line, but I like doing that because it's the coolest part of the song and there's times when I can bust it out. But uh, basically what we're doing, and if you're a bass player, this will help you learn it. You might do your fingering a little different on a bass, but uh, here you go. We're gonna start with our pointer finger on the A string second fret. Okay, that's our first four notes. I got a back fourth deal going here. So we're going E string open with the up to the A string second. And then we're going G, I mean E string, which is a G note, third fret, to that same A second fret. Open, open E string to E string pinky fifth fret. Then A string fourth fret ring finger pinky E string fifth fret. Back to that open E. So. And that's like on the verse, I like to go riders on the storm. You know, I can't sing. So what I'm doing there is I'm just hitting an E minor chord. And then I'm going to the D string second, hammer on to second fret. So one stroke, then up, down, and then another open to hammer on second fret, D string, okay? And it's Riders on the Storm. Again, Riders on the Storm. Okay, and then it does this. I like doing it down here, but what it is, is it's, uh, if you know these chord fingerings, you know, you're going to bar the bottom three strings on the fifth. We're doing an A minor. And then come down here with the ring finger on the seventh on the D string. A minor, B minor, C major, that's looks like an F formation. 
D. So minor, B minor, C major, D, back to E. Okay? So that gets you through that. And then there's the... That's a D, D chord, to a C formation. But I'm doing my C like this, where I'm doing pinky, E string third, ring, B string third, uh, pointer, D string second, and then birdie finger, A string third. Okay, so that's kind of the structure there. Now the little uh, tidbits in there that make it kind of cool is I've got a deal here where I go, I'm gonna go with my pointer finger and slide down to the fourth fret, pointer finger, G string, and then I'm gonna anchor my birdie finger on the B string fifth. And that, that birdie is gonna stay stationary the whole time and I'm gonna go. There's some alternations in there. I'm gonna do it real slow. So basically what I'm doing is I'm keeping this birdie finger stationary and I'm going on the G string, fourth, six, seven. But I'm alternating. Back. And just work that. So I'm always going back. One, two, back to the to the to the starting on the so it's like the uh, G to B. G, G, B, G, G, B, G, B. Okay, that's that lick. This that's that's in there. I mean, I think that's true to form to what's going on in the guitar. And then another thing I like to do, the guitar doesn't normally do it. Sounds great. They live. We play it live. And you know, if you didn't have a dynamic keyboard player, it might be a thing you'd need to know. But what I'm doing here is this is like an E minor, but I'm doing this fingering here where I'm going to the uh, seventh fret E string pointer, eighth fret B string birdie and then ring finger on the uh, G uh, string ninth okay a lot of down up and then I'm doing here this is and this is like an A but it's a D formation if you take a D formation and you bring it on down here to where you're starting on the ninth fret that gives you a, a really cool A G A D so it's D e minor to this and then on this third note and I mean chord and the, that's it once you have to have all the chords I'm just basically I'm going on the E string on the 10th and the B string on the 12th and just hitting those two so to that D, D looking formation which is an A and that's that okay so there's those parts you got the intro we got the little things you can do during you know the you know that run and now okay let's work on the solo great solo by the way it's a it's an E minor pentatonic solo and um, that's what uh, what he did so it's going to go. So I'm finding myself approaching that with the birdie finger. And this is the lick that's throughout the song. And you're going to the D string and you're hammering down to the second fret. Hitting it again twice, hammered down. Open again. Uh, excuse me, babe, I'm doing a lesson. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then, uh, and then uh, after I do that, I'm gonna do a really cool that lick, uh, that run, and that's an E minor pentatonic run, and we're going uh, just hammer on. So 
that's kind of cool. So basically, we're going, we're starting on the A string, all to second, open to second, and then hand, then we're going to go with a down stroke to the D string, with the down stroke to the G string, and then down stroke to the B string. But we're moving to the third fret, and we're using the ring ring finger, and then open E. Okay. It's a flow deal. <laughs> when I slow some of these things down, you know, I'll make more mistakes because it's a flow deal. But, but uh, that's that's what that does. And then after that run, it does. Okay, so that we're gonna go to the B string and slide from the third to fifth, and I'm using my ring finger. Hit it twice once I slide. And that's the B on the far, on the third fret, and then we're going to the G fourth with the uh, pointer, I mean, sorry, with the birdie finger. And then open. Open, uh, still on that G string. Okay, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's that we're on the G string and we're open and then we're going to the second fret with a bend, pull back, a bend back. Okay. So that, that lick. Then back on the G string second. Then uh, A string second. Okay, and then resolving on the on the uh, A string second. Okay, so let me do it again. Oh, that's a that's a pull off. Hammer on from D to A. And then hammering down on the A string second. Second set, they're both on the second. And then here is the little change in key. And that one, that little key is uh, A string, and you're gonna hammer on the third fret. Pull off A string open to third fret. So I'm gonna run through it again. That's that one. That's that A. That's kind of a distinctive sound there that you gotta get for it to work with the chord progression. And then I just kind of pull off. Those kind of little pull-offs, hammer-ons, okay? And then you go, you can go to the D, to the D to the C, or you can just, or you can just find it, but that's where it is, you know, and that'll get you through, that's the key notes. If, or you're in the E minor, remember you're in E minor pentatonic, so you can play that pentatonic down here on the uh, 12th fret as well. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.